and really the point that we sort of probably wanted to get across as well and the thing that we wanted to get to is if none of that mattered, if none of that mattered, then none of your favorite jujitsu athletes would be juicy boys on the Mexican supplements. And if you are pretending at home now... The following like, statements are Tiny Sumo and Tiny Sumo only. If you were trying to <laughs> fucking tell me, if you were trying to tell me... Here we go. Right? If you were trying to fucking get there, if I see some fucking comments in the Reddit fucking sub thread. <laughs> Here we go. If I say, oh, bro, they don't fuck, they just, it's Asai and fucking Jesus. There's no Mexican supplements. Fuck you. Because there is. You're a fucking dweeb if you think that the majority of these top level guys have or are doing something. It's not fucking possible. It's an insult to believe that these people aren't doing that. And here's why. Because they are, yes, more technically fucking gifted. They are harder working. They're more mentally strong. But there are also other people that have those attributes. So the way to get ahead of those people is with the assistance of a Russian medical program or a Mexican supplement team or whatever it may be. But if you are trying to fucking tell me that some of these dudes walking around at fucking 8% body fat, massive and shredded and competing like fucking animals all the time aren't on fucking gear. Fuck you. <laughs> Ro- you're, you're a fucking idiot. You don't understand how the fucking body works. These aren't hobbyist fucking weekend warrior training, you know, the yeah, everyday parada. Fuck you. No, they're on. They have to be. And that's fine. But let's not pretend they're not. Let's not, let's not, like, whenever we see all this fucking doping shit come up in the news, oh, so-and-so got busted with this, so-and-so got busted with that, and people fucking flip out about it. You're like, are you kidding? Do you know how hard these fucking animals train every day? Every day, there's no, you cannot do fucking eight hours of training a day with good nutrition and fucking genetics alone at that level. It's not fucking possible. Like, it's not, go into quack right now. Oh, fucking jump on here we go. Now, fucking, now, now you're in a fuck. specific fucking club. But let's look at any fucking high level club. But let's look there at that go. one. Let's make it more broad. I could, I could jump on their page right now and I could fucking look at a bunch of shirtless dudes, right? And there was that obviously that big uproar with um with with uh, the BJJ steroids page on Instagram and stuff like that. There was a big thing about that. Um, if you were to jump online and have a look at any of these fucking dudes, and I've said it's like you. <laughs> Fuck it, you can't be that lean and that big and it's, oh, you just don't understand. I do fucking understand because I've competed against people on, like I've trained with people on steroids and competed against people on steroids. And it's not even necessarily all the guys you think. Like sometimes you see those guys and you go, that guy's on steroids. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's a genetic exception to the steroid rule. Sometimes it's the guys you look at and they don't look like they're on steroids and they're on fucking gear. That happens, right? But you cannot... Or maybe I say, look, I say cannot because I'm being inflammatory. Maybe there's that fucking random percentage that can. Right? Maybe there's a fucking minute percentage and I'm just being aggressive and emotional. Maybe there's a minute percentage. Well, I think you bo- have to give that caveat because you never know. You can't. Look, hey, you can do the I wish I was the while, fucking- I'm sure there's, like, I don't know everything in the world. So my I thing wish, is. I wish I was that guy. Like, I wish I was that genetic fucking anomaly. Wish I was. But, like. Jiu-Jitsu is a, is a sport, a competitive sport like anything else. And if you're looking at Olympic level sport, if you're looking at professional high level sport, whenever people are like surprised about performance enhancing drugs in sport, the argument that I use would be you're a doctor or you're a lawyer and I come up to you and I say, you could be the best doctor in the world and you could make 10 times currently what you're making now, right? You could be the very best. You could walk away and you could have a medal that says you are the best doctor. What I want you to do is I want to take, I want you to take this pill every day, once a day. I want you, you to take mean this Adderall? pill. <laughs> is that, but like, is that all I got? I got to just take this pill. And you go, yeah. and then you'll be the best. And you go, oh, fuck. Of course. If you, if you were to ask 10 fucking doctors about, like you just said Adderall, right? If you were to ask 10 doctors or lawyers or whatever the fuck, these people in these chosen professions, that if they were to be the most successful person in that chosen profession, all they have to do is take this pill. How many of them do you think would fucking do it? Hmm. Now, if I said to you, I said, I said to this doctor or lawyer, I said, all right, now look, there's going to be a fucking piss test probably, I don't know, once a year maybe. And it's going to be around this time. And you're making, you, you, you're doing well for us. You're on the socials. You, 
you're, you're drawing attention to our promotion, all things like that. The majority, that's the thing as well. The majority of these competitions don't have testing. Mm. So if these people weren't doing steroids, and here's the other thing, right? I'm not advocating the, I'm not advocating the use of steroids, right? I'm saying a lot of inflammatory things, but I'm also not advocating the use of steroids. But I would say that if you are performing at the highest level of your chosen sport and your chosen sport does not test performance enhancing drugs year round, you're almost kind of stupid if you don't do it. But that's just my opinion. Oh, hello there. You've just caught me drinking a nice, refreshing jammy tonic. Completely unstaged, not, not set up at all. Uh, you've made it to the end of our video. So if you'd like to check out our beautiful product, check out www.dirtycleaneats.com and use DCE Podcast for 20% off. If not, but you did enjoy the, the talking nonsense or you hated the nonsense, please check out Give us a subscribe below if this is YouTube. If it's not YouTube, I don't, I don't know. Follow, hit the follow button. Thank you. Bye.